it's really a shame to have a basketball game that was that good, that back and forth, you know, between the Heat and Bucks. This in season tournament, no season tournament, postseason tournament, whatever. Great basketball game back and forth, you know, between the performances you got from Giannis and Dame and Bam Adebayo and Jay Rich and Kayla Martin and a lot of the guys on the Heat tonight, Kyle Lowry. Really uh, just a, a great display back and forth. And these Yahoo officials got to stick their beak into some good basketball business. And, and, and you tee up Eric Spolstra. Eric Spolstra, who I think has one career ejection, which was with like three seconds left in a double overtime back in 2012. I, long time ago. Man rarely gets teed up. You know, is definitely animated. We'll 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 do his things with the uh with the with the travel calls and all that. And is a master at not getting fined in, in his post-game comments. But what they did to him today at the end of that game with Jay Rich getting the foul call and then Spo calling for the travel, whatever the hell he said, unless he's you know, whatever he said to the officials, they teed his ass up. Put the Bucks up five, and uh, that was basically all she wrote. It was just a, it was a real shame. It was a real shame for a back and forth affair to go like that. The, you know, you just had an awesome play by Jaime Hawkins where he took Giannis's ankles, dumps it to Jay Rich, who gives it to Bam to bring it to within two. And you know, first of all, Jay Rich foul. I mean, you know, bad, fine, but you're gonna tee up Eric Spolstra with a minute left in the game. Just just such malarkey, dude. Just complete garbage from these officials who always feel like a like a bunch of show ponies who need to stick their beak into things and feel like they need to be seen. Just just complete crap. Um but anyway, great game. Miami Heat, they fall short against the Milwaukee Bucks. Third straight loss for Miami, so they're now ten and eight. Uh, of course, had this game where there was no Jimmy Buckets. There was no uh, there was no Tyler Hero, as we know. No Haywood Highsmith today for this uh, for this in season tournament uh, must win for the Miami Heat. They lose one thirty one to one twenty four. Really fun, high scoring game, back and forth affair. Uh, both teams shot over fifty percent. Uh, you know, both teams hitting a bunch of threes today. So it was a it was a really really fun performance back and forth, but uh, you know from that perspective you really got you know a fantastic game today, a one from Bam Adebayo. I mean he was awesome today. Thirty one points, ten rebounds, five assists, um, just doing it all on defense. That he got a couple of bad breaks on some Bam lockdowns in the fourth quarter. He had just a, a, a an awesome defensive possession on Damian Lillard locks his ass up swats his stuff into the stands you know and they check it in and Chris Middleton hits an awesome shot to put the Bucks back up on top but it was just it was a really to see the way Bam competed you know there was no obviously he doesn't have Jimmy there but he it just continues to show the great season this man has had all year because there was a point where and, and, you know, this is the fun matchup between him and Giannis. They're, they're, it's one of the more fun one-on-one -on -one matchups you get to see because, like, they're both going at each other. Freak forced a, a Bam turnover at one point. Then Bam goes right back in front of Giannis, takes a charge. Uh, the Heat, at that point, would have their last crack at leading this game. Kyle Lowry hits a three. They go up, and then Damian Lillard. This was a tough one, tough one to swallow because Giannis goes down. He takes the three. He can't get a rebound. So Damian Lillard gets the ball. He hits a three. So that one was definitely kicking the junk. Then Jaime Hagas gets called for a very borderline travel. Middleton comes down and uh, he ends up giving him the lead. Bam. Next trip down. He misses a jumper. Middleton. He then puts up the uh, the bucks by a couple possessions. But it was, uh, there was a couple of, you know, just a couple where you're just like, oh, there were the, the crushing of not getting the air ball. There was one where Bam hits a, uh, Bam blocked Chris Middleton. And then Chris, then's in front of Chris, it goes back to Chris Middleton. Middleton then steps back to a three, air balls it. Um, 
but the Heat can't get the ball, and Giannis ends up uh, going to the line that tied things up. So that was another tough one to take. That was right after Duncan Robinson had cooked Giannis at the Kubo. Offense was flying all over the place today. It was uh it, it was really, really, really impressive. Um fun back and forth, you know, to see these guys go out there. Um you got a lot of encouraging stuff from this Heat team. I mean, look, this is a this was a fully stacked, fully loaded Bucks team. They had everybody, they got Middleton back. They had Lopez. They got A plus performances from Giannis. They got a great game from Damian Lillard. Both of them scoring over thirty. Uh, you know, you took them right down to the wire in this one, and it was just uh, just some small things of execution down the uh, down the pipe with you know the Hawkins travel call, Bam missing a jumper, and then of course uh, you had this the 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 bull bleep call with uh with the officials but it was it was right there man it was right there and fun having Shaq on the call tonight it was not boots on the ground but it was uh it was a uh, it was a real joy hearing uh Shaq Shaq made that that broadcast booth which Kevin Harlan's the goat I love him but you didn't even get much Harlan's like it was so much Shaq and Reggie Miller banter actually made Reggie Miller bearable to listen to and uh Jaime Hawkins Jr. dude I, it was cool seeing the nation get uh introduced to him on a professional level because that that kid tonight just continues to dazzle 14 points tonight six assists just you know he had a, t- a, 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 a this has kind of been the case of him like people are going to attack him in the fourth quarter we've seen this now uh in in back-to-back games with uh Jalen with uh well not back-to-back games but two out of three games we saw this with Jalen Brunson too where it was close game affair they were going after the kid and they're going to go after the kid and you know Tyler Hero is probably thinking to himself well you know this is this is what I'm used to but uh you know look he he just seems to always find himself in the right spot you know it was unfortunate that he had that late mistake this kid just feels like he is cooking up to be something special this entire run through and the Heat are going to have a serious, serious weapon by the time this season, uh, by the time this season uh, gets to the postseason and not is dealing with in-season tournament. And I don't know, like, look, I don't know if it had to do with in-season tournament. I think this was just an old-fashioned, uh, an old-fashioned heat bucks. Like, this is going to be, these, these matchups are always fun, but regular season, they're always a little weird because it always feels like one of the key players is missing on either side, and then we get to the playoffs and, you know, then we'll, we'll, we'll see what's what, but you know, I, I, I'm sure for the heat fan watching Damian Lillard, you know, have his big time moments there in the fourth quarter was a bit of a kick in the junk, but you know, on the other end of it, you saw your stud rookie just have an awesome night tonight with bam and Dame and Kyle Lowry, just having his big time moments, huge onions from Kyle Lowry in this one too. Um, and you did this in a game like you, you know, obviously defense was not the name of today's game. There were some key possessions, but this was a, this was a high powered game. And to to really stick with Milwaukee in a game like this without having Jimmy and without having Tyler, I think really says something about the heat. They, they man, just bam today, man. He the some of the jumpers we've talked about this, just the moves, the arsenal, the versatility that he's brought to the table. You know, he hits that jumper in front of Bobby Portis today and uh and the Bucks call timeout, but he hits it right in Bobby Portis's face. This was uh with like nine minutes left, put the heat up five at the time. And you know, you're just like, man, Bam's just it, it, the kid the, the guy it's been said like that looks like it's a different mentality, but like he just he, he was at, at times the bully, you know, like he he bowled over. There was a one time they double teamed him with Giannis and Bobby Boris. He like bowled them both over just like an absolute menace. So not Bam showed himself to be really, really uh, fantastic tonight on on some on some great plays, man. And and him versus Giannis is always just fun to watch. It was funny, man, because you had him and Giannis. They were locking each other up. And then the possessions where uh, they got got the band was locking up Damian Lillard and he was locking up it. And the only guy who really got past him today was campaign. I was like, what? That's who gets by him in the fourth. And on the same token, who's the guy who cooks Giannis after like him and Bam were going at each other. It's like Duncan Robinson cooking Giannis. Um, 
I think that just kind of showed like these guys maybe thought, oh man, I can put my guard down for a second. Nope, everybody's scoring today. It's just one of those days. I don't know who the hell that rookie was for the uh, the Bucks, uh, Jackson Jr. That dude came in and he hit two threes in this game that were, I mean, it ended up being the difference in the game. Basically, uh, Andre Jackson Jr., two for two, he hits a three off the window from the wing. And then he rattles one in on the other side. I'm just like, oh, of those were like just a pair of, of courses just, just flowing through your veins. So, you know, um, let's see. Getting a notification on my phone. Spo at the podium. Incredibly difficult shot. Uh, but I think if we were body on body, we could have defended that better. And then I, I think the entire building and whoever was probably watching on TV probably just would have wanted to see what would happen uh, without – that 90 foot f foul call uh, on Lillard and then uh, the subsequent technical on the head coach uh, basically to seal the game. I think, look, Lillard is, is good enough. He, he very likely could have created something going down the other end. I just think we all wanted to see what's what, see if it, what would have happened. Um, but that, that kind of just, uh, you know, took the air. I think it was a minute left. Um, it was a two point game at, at that point. Um, and that, that pretty much just sealed the game from there. Bam, 42 minutes guarding Giannis. Right. Well, I'm sure, I, I don't know if they'll go back to it. I, I mean, maybe somebody will, but he kind of addresses it right there with, uh, and I agree with him, you know, that, you know, Damian Lillard's tough enough. He's an amazing free throw shooter. I, I just think in a physical game like that, with the way everybody's just play on dude, play on and, then on top of it, you're going to text Spo, so you're going to give Damian Lillard three points like that? I don't know. Just seem, just seemed kind of bogus to me. Seemed kind of bogus to me. Seems kind of bogus to the head coach. Um, huge bummer. Huge bummer on that end. But, look, uh, just, just a bummer in the way that the game ended. Still a really fun performance. Um Still haven't gotten a heat, uh, you know, a, a heat bucks matchup with your with your entire deck yet. You know, they got theirs. Um, Jimmy, uh, they had Jimmy mic'd up tonight. I did like this. The Jimmy was mic'd up um, on the TNT broadcast. They only get to him. They went to him once, and it was uh, he was telling Jay Rich to stay aggressive. Jay Rich played great today. You know, Jay Rich. Jay Rich was awesome today. He uh, he he's he's you know. 20 points so he provided you some offensive punch he was on Lillard basically for the majority of the game and um you know there was some high quality shot making but you know it was doing the things or making doing the things to try and make it difficult on him um but you know that that last that last foul was was hocus pocus bull bleep I, I hated that hated that dude um so that one was uh was was tough to say, but Jimmy telling Jay Rich to stay aggressive. I thought that was cool. I thought that was uh that was a really, really cool thing. Um and just a uh just a very entertaining back and forth. So now the Miami Heat got the Pacers coming up for a couple. Um I'd imagine they're out of this whole in season tournaments thing. So we'll see what rando games they'll end up with. Uh, I, I, this whole thing I've, you know, point differential, how it works, whatever, you know, go enjoy Las Vegas, everybody for, for all I care. Um, but ultimately I didn't need the tournament. I thought this was a, a really fun game. It usually is when these two franchises square up and, um, you know, the refs got what they wanted. So good for them. 